Today I was supposed to get some turkey eggs that I had ordered, got shipped Monday or Tuesday, not sure. Um, I went to check on the status of the delivery with the tracking information provided by the seller, and my eggs are showing in Londell, California, delivered to mailbox, which is very odd. The only thing I can think of is maybe that I got the wrong shipping information, <laughs> so... I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Hopefully. I don't know. I was looking so for those turkey eggs. Um, if you see this video, comment below to let me know what kind of turkey eggs you think I'm trying to get a hold of. Well, folks, we are lucky. We did find some hatching eggs at the post office. Um... The shipping info did not match what was sent to me because mine was 288. I don't know about the rest of this whole part because, but so this didn't match. Also, it was sent to the wrong address. That is not my PO box. And there's no name on it. But luckily, here where we live, post office figured it was my box. So we'll go ahead and open and see if this is it. Um,. I can't even tell where it came from. So, um, we'll see. I'm getting ready to open it. It's an awfully big box for a few eggs, but we'll see. So, one second. All right. So, it looks like they used a lot of paper shavings and then bubble wrapped each egg individually. So, I'm going to go through the box carefully, get them out. Then, I'm going to unwrap them and make sure there's no cracks. Um, and we'll see, because I'm not an expert, but I thought you weren't supposed to wrap the eggs like that, because they still need to get that oxygen in and out, but I don't know, I'm not an expert. So, let me just go ahead and get all these out and see how many I ended up with. I paid for, I think, two plus extras. I didn't pay that much. The seller actually reached out to me because I previously tried to win a bid on some other ones from them, and they saw that. And they asked me if I'd be interested in these for this cheaper price. So, let's just see what happens. Well, they appear fine with no cracks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and candle just to see what the aerosols look like. These actually got to post office yesterday, so technically they've already sat 24. Um, so, they should be okay to go in the incubator. I'm going to go ahead and take candle and see what I think. And I may or may not put them in tonight. So. Um, four eggs, we'll see. Shipped eggs are always a gamble. I usually don't have good luck with shipped eggs. Um, I do currently have guineas in the incubator, and surprisingly, all of them that I received came fine and are ha developing. So, I don't think my luck is going to be that good with these, but I don't know. This egg felt a little sticky to me. I don't know. I think she cleaned them, which I don't which could also cause them not to do as well because when she gets these wet that introduces bacteria and kills the eggs so I'm gonna take a peek and see what I see so I got done candling they're looking fairly intact I didn't notice any hairline cracks or anything um, the aerosols all appear up at the top where they belong one of them was a little shook up but looked like it was a little loose detached but I think they'll be fine with my type of incubator because it keeps them upright as it shifts them like that for turning wise. So I'm pretty sure that aerosol will do fine in my big Camda incubator. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these in and well, maybe in 28-ish days we'll have some baby turkeys. Um, like I said already in this video, I'm not gonna tell you what kind I got. Or um, go ahead and comment below what kind you think we'll have.